Hi, hello, welcome back. Welcome if this is your first time. My name is Rebecca, I'm an artist, and I use this channel to express myself creatively through makeup. Today we are using the Lunar Collection by BH Cosmetics. I've had this for a little bit. I got it when it launched and I waited until today, the Lunar New Year, to use it. I love this color story. It is different than every other Lunar New Year color story I've seen so far because of these two greens, Money and Jade. Both of them are so nice and I use them for this look. This one up here, I'm also very, very intrigued by. It has a green orange shift and I don't know, let's just see. It is just straight glitter. So I'm not super crazy about pressed glitters. I am going to try this just because it is so pretty and I just wanna see how it looks, but I probably will only use it once and never again because I'm not a big fan of pressed glitters. I'm interested to see how pigmented the rest of these mattes are and I wanna see these shimmers in action. So if you'd like to see what shadows I used for this look and how I created it, keep watching. So I wanna match this shirt. I'm gonna go for colors in this palette that are more like the shirt. The colors that I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna be using are this black, this nice shimmery green, these two more orangey mattes, probably this one, maybe this glitter. And I'm gonna try to warm up this red with maybe this orange or this orange, we'll see. First thing I'm gonna do is put that red mandarin in the crease. It's a very bright red with a lot of pigment, which would be great normally. And I love that it is a cooler red, but I want to warm this up just because of the shirt. It's a really nice, very cherry red. It's actually more on the pink side. So maybe strawberry. Yeah, it's more strawberry than anything else. Yeah, it's definitely like a hot pink now that I'm looking at it. Okay, hot pink is not what we are going for, but I'm gonna warm it up. I'm gonna put Warrior directly on top of it. And I'm going to have the deeper colors go this way. The lighter colors will be in the inner corner. To deepen that hot pink up, I'm gonna use Great Wall. I like the blend of this aubergine and the orange color together better anyway. With a little fluffy brush, I'm gonna use Mandarin and blend this up into the brow. I think they're blending pretty nicely. And now that Mandarin again, I'm going to blend the crease, that purple into the pink. The good news is if you have this palette, Valentine's Day is coming up. And so now that we know that, oh, I said Mandarin the whole time. That orange color is Warrior. And I was thinking Mandarin because Mandarins are orange. Mandarin is that red color. It looks red in the pan. It's pink on the eye. So now what I was trying to say was the good news with Valentine's Day coming up, if you have this palette is Mandarin is hot pink, so you can use that for a Valentine's Day look. So that's good news. Unexpected, but good news. I'm gonna be doing a half cut crease anyway, so I'm not really concerned with this right here. Now I'm gonna pop a little bit of glitter glue on my lid for the shimmers. I'm probably gonna thank you, Bean, every single time I do this because this was such good advice. So I will share her advice. She suggests to put the glitter glue on a brush and go along the natural curve of your eyeball. And it already cleaned things up quite a bit. The reason why she likes using glitter glue for shimmers is because the glitter glue really makes the shimmers really vibrant, really pop, because they stick right on your eye. So I'm going to put Mooncake, this orange shimmer, in the middle of the eye. And I'm gonna go right up to where that crease is. I'm gonna use my finger. Shimmers are just so much better with your finger. Brushes are, of course, more precise, so I might go back just to clean up the crease. But for the lid, it's just so much nicer having your finger because it looks like foil and it did not look like that when I was using the brush. And now for the inner part of the eye, the inner, not the inner corner, but the inner part of the eyelid, I'm gonna use Temple of Heaven and put that right in the front and blend that into the orange. I lost a lot of the orange, so I'm gonna have to go back in and add more. These shimmers just cover up anything so well. It's a good thing because you don't have to worry about anything showing underneath. You don't really have a sheer base, but you do need to be just a little more careful when you are blending shimmers because they will just cover each other up. At least with the shimmers in this palette. So a little more of that orange shimmer because I definitely want more orange than that light tan color. My favorite color is light tan. And I'm just gently patting just so that I can have a nice 
blend between the two shimmers. I'm not done with shimmers yet, but I wanna go ahead and put, mm, you know what I wanna do is deepen the crease. So I'm gonna put that black shade, that black matte yin, just in the outer part of the crease and on that outer V. I'm just gonna pat a tiny bit on here and then blend. To deepen up what I already have, I don't want it to be just straight black. Okay, good, yeah. So now I'm going to blend that out with Great Wall and I'm just going to do tiny little blend strokes. Slowly going more and more inward in the crease. And now I'm gonna start blending up. I still want you to be able to see Warrior, that orange color above the dark. So just peeking out a little bit. But I definitely wanna deepen up that corner. And I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling this out up towards my temple so I have a nice line this way. Because when I pull my shadows up at an angle towards my temple, it gives me a nice faux lift. Now let's work on the lower lash line. I'm gonna start with Yin, which is the black matte just on the outer quarter of the eye. And then I'm going to halfway through the black, that yin color, I'm gonna use Great Wall, which is that aubergine color, and tie that together with Warrior, not Mandarin. But you can see how it can be confused, right? Before we have fun with shimmers on the lower lash line, I want to blend this out and up so that this is nicely blended together on the outer corners. And I'm gonna do that with Warrior Not Mandarin, which is the name I'm giving it. Lately, I've been really liking the look of warm colors, more orange or gold, yellowy, kind of warm, warm colors, warm neutrals, underneath or behind really dark colors. It almost just makes the dark colors look like they are glowing on that outside edge. I am into it. Okay, now we're gonna do shimmer on the lower lash line. I feel like this is too monochromatic and I had already had this in mind. So we're gonna use that jade color that I think is gonna be so pretty on the lower lash line. I'm gonna get more glitter glue and just dab this underneath. That's a lot. Definitely did not need that much. I don't wanna get rid of any of the color that's there. So I just wanted to pat it on, just gently pat and rub a little bit, but not too much. Since it is on my lower lash line, I do wanna be pretty precise. I don't wanna be all messy. So I'm gonna use a brush and put Jade right on that lower lash line. I have had this palette for a minute. I ordered it right when it launched. I was so excited to use it, but I made it myself wait for the Lunar New Year, which is today. There isn't another green in here other than this really, really light limey green. So I'm really tempted to use that under this shimmery green, really tempted. And since we're just playing around anyway, I may for real just use it. By no means do I think this look is boring. I just think it is a little mono, tone not so much monochromatic but the tone is pretty similar so maybe let's just add a little bit of this limey green and see what happens i'm going to use this nice little fluffy brush because it doesn't really pack a punch which is going to be useful look at that <laughs> well here we go so i'm definitely using this lime green in the inner corner i really did not think i was going to love this as much as i do i was not sure about this lime green that was a surprise so i don't think i'm doing any glitters i'm not a giant fan of pressed glitters anyway i do actually want to deepen this up a little bit more so back with yin i just want to pull that in just a little bit we're just going to do an angle here okay that's better so this is supposed to be a lunar new year look but it can also be a fall look so if you hold on to this palette until next fall you can produce some really really nice looks i've got the green and yellow and the orange red black it's a fall look but i guess it's also a lunar new year look i'm just gonna blend this up a little bit more and then i'm going to finish my face i'm gonna put eyeliner on the eyeliner i'm gonna use also came in the lunar new year collection the collection came with this palette two glitters one is red one is yellow ish what is this this isn't yellow so we have a red one this is a more neutral tone it's a light neutrally tone light tan. and just so we can see what that looks like let's just pop it on now we're getting lunar new year festive i want to be careful not to go too far out on the eye because i'm going to be using a liner pen i assume it's a felt liner pen i haven't used it yet it came in this collection and they do not go over glitter at all so just so you know what that glitter looks like 
not on eyeshadows. I don't know if you can really tell, but it is a nice warm glitter with blue sparkles. Let me turn the light down just so you can actually see what this looks like in normal light. So that is the glitter. You can't really see the blue sparkles, but I promise they're there. There are just a few of them. I'm gonna show you the red one also. I feel like BH said recently that they had sold out of the Lunar New Year collection or they were close to. So go check. I don't know if they're sold out or not. I just checked and they are not sold out. This looks like a finer glitter. Oh God. So these are the two glitters. I'm gonna turn the lights down again. So these are these two glitters. Glitter's fine. It just gets everywhere. So before I forget, I'm gonna put that lime green on my inner corners. Oh, that's fun. It's just a little pop of lime green. I really thought this look was gonna be way redder than it is, but I just followed where it was taking me. And this is where it took me, to fall. Also, I think this collection came with lashes. I did not get them because I'm still scared of them. I still have not put them on yet. One day I will, I have to eventually. So that is an option for this collection. You can get the palette, the glitters, the lashes, and the liner. I like the packaging of their Lunar New Year collection. It looks very festive, very glowy. So this is a liquid liner pen. I don't know if this is something that they've had that they just put in the Lunar New Year collection, packaging, but I have a feeling it is. If this line is limited, at least you'll be able to get the pen after the Lunar New Year. Liner, lashes, and by lashes I mean mascara, lips, and then I'll be back. And this is my final look. Oh, let me back up. So I had a little bit of difficulty using the liner that came in this collection. I started out testing these after I had a hard time on my eye. And then this is what I ended up with. It's just faded and consistent. It's one of those pen liners that doesn't shake. So there's no way to actually refill that tip. I ended up using the Man Eater liner by Tarte, which is kind of my go-to. Of course, this look, especially with a liner this thick and bold, would be great with some lashes, but I'm not ready yet. I will be soon, I can feel it. I can feel me getting more and more ready to be brave and put lashes on my eyes. I will pick a date, I will put on my calendar, and I'll film it, of course. But today, just mascara, but I can see it. I can see why you would use lashes. And to tie it all together and make it even more festive, Lunar New year E, I put a red lip on. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have a BH Lunar New Year collection, let me know. I want to know what you did with it. There are a couple other things I really want to do with this palette. So I will come back for one or two more looks. So I'll have this one Lunar New Year video, and then I'll have another two more looks with this palette video. So be sure to hit subscribe and notifications so you can find out when I post that video. So thank you for joining me, and I'll catch you for the next one. Bye.